I'm going to share with you a technique today that has really helped me to not feel like I have to be working all the time. Or when I'm working, I don't feel resentful anymore that I would like to be relaxing or resting or playing. So if you ever feel that way, I think this technique, I invite you to try it. I call it a temporal placeholder. A temporal pla- I call it that because it is a time of your week or of your day where you will focus on that particular topic so that you don't have to be worrying about that thing, that idea, that area of your business all the time. So the first step is to list out what are the top five areas, the main five areas of your business. I'm just going to assume that you work Monday through Friday, so that's five days a week. So list the five main areas of your business. So for example, you might say administrative activities, marketing, improving your client services or following up with clients, um, uh, finances, money, and maybe online content, creating content, sharing content. Okay, so let's just say those five. Instead of feeling like you should be working on marketing all the time or all the time you should be following up on administrative tasks or you know, um, client improvement projects or whatever, focus on each of these five. Pick one day of the week to focus on that. Okay? Now, yes, there are sometimes more urgent things you need to take care of. That's fine. Then you need to take care of those things that are urgent that day. But typically, most of the activities in our business, most of the projects don't need to be done every day. They, it's fine if you had a focused effort once a week to do that project to make progress on something, you'll probably move quite far in your business. So um, the other thing I want to say is that these five areas of your business and which day you spend time on it, that will ch- that, feel free to modify that over time as you yourself grow, as your business grows, as you get a better understanding of what your strengths are and what to outsource, okay? But pick a day and the week to focus on that. Now, some of you may be needing to work around client appointments like I do. So I have, you know, uh, anywhere between two to four hours of client appointments each day. So that leaves me with two to, um, uh, what is it? My math is not great here. That leaves me with anywhere between one to three hours of project time each day and on that project time so for example Mondays when my project time is here on Mondays I work on improving my services to my clients on Tuesdays I work on uh, adding to my online courses you know etc so so each day there's something so that way you don't have to be worrying about this and that all the time you just say all right I don't have to worry about my marketing right now that's for Tuesdays or, or whatever it may be does that make sense made such a big difference in my life. You can also think of it as, uh, you can extend this idea and think about physical placeholders. So instead of having papers strewn all over your desktop or even your computer desktop, create a folder for each area of your business and put your ideas, project documents, and related uh, pieces of, of information in each of these folders according to the topic. So that let's say when it comes to Tuesday marketing day, you take out your marketing folder and chip away at it, work on it bit by bit. So that's why I call it placeholders. It's a placeholder for your worries and for your psych- psychic energy, mental energy on that. You don't have to think about it all the time. Another way to uh, apply the placeholder idea, temporal placeholders, is time for rest and renewal. So that's really important because if you don't rest and renew yourself, you're going to burn out, right? So it's important to put those placeholders in your schedule as well. So I hope this is helpful for you. I'm always open to your questions and comments. And until the next video, I wish you well.